Okay friends, now let us talk about the Ramachandran plot and what uh, is the importance of Ramachandran plot in determining the conformation of proteins and the protein structure. Now uh, what we know about the protein structure is the protein backbone is pretty much stable in, in nature because of the peptide bonds because of the presence of the partial double bond character of peptide bond but still except for the peptide bonds there are other bonds between C alpha C and also the bond between N C alpha uh, of the peptide and these bonds are actually have a freedom for rotation around the plane of 360 degrees so you have the freedom of 360 degree rotation uh, from plus uh, plus uh, 0 degree plus 1 degree to uh, totally 360 degree angle is very really possible in those cases now if we look at uh, the diagram above if we look at the diagram here as we can see there are torsional angles between planes uh, for example the torsional angle between this C N C alpha and N C alpha C which is called the phi as well as the torsional angle between the N C alpha C and C alpha C N which is psi so these torsional angles are present there uh, along this ang axis of the bonds uh, the peptide chain or the peptide backbone can be rotated uh, at around 360 degree or, uh, or up to 360 degree rotation is very possible now uh, uh, the question arises we, uh, as they are having uh, the f uh, freedom for rotating 360 degree all these rotations uh, are all these rotations are fruitful in this case or not the answer is no why because as we see in this picture below if it rotates uh, at a particular degree of angle and a result of that for uh, instance in this case what we can see after the rotation of the torsional angle phi of minus 60 degree and psi of 30 degree it will represent its uh, NH group as well as the CO group in very very close proximity which will which will lead to the generation of steric hindrance which uh, which makes the structure really really unfavorable so though they are having a degree of 360 degree rotational freedom but still all the rotation does not ensures a very good and stable polypeptide backbone structure so what kind of uh, what kind of rotational angles are actually helping them out to make a very very uh, strong uh, very very stable structure now this is this question will be answered by looking at this Ramachandran plot so what Ramachandran plot is providing us is the distribution of conformational angles in different proteins now the areas uh, of this Ramachandran plot are there which is actually helping us to understand what type of conformations and what type of rotations along this uh, diagonal angles or torsional angles leads to the production of a protein backbones which are really stable in conformation and also some of the protein molecules leads to the production uh, via the, the process which is uh, not being favorable so both of the cases Ramachandran plot helps us to distinguish uh, between the distribution of the conformational angles which are favorable for a protein to be uh, to be existed and also uh, some conformations which are totally unfavorable now in this picture in the left hand side what we are talking about here in this Ramachandran plot actually let let me first describe what is Ramachandran what or how the Ramachandran plot looks like as you can see here so forget about these blotches and all these things just think it is uh, this uh, four quadrant is there and so one uh, huge square it is divided into four squares and each of the squares represent uh, the angular uh, presentation so if you start from zero here and go towards the upper limit that means plus 90 plus 180 and again in this direction also what we have uh, minus 90 and minus 180 now in the same orientation if we start from here and look for this uh, this area uh, what we can find uh, in this level what we are ha having we are having the phi and in this uh, y axis we are having the psi so in x axis we are having starting from 0 90 180 minus 90 180 and again in the for the psi uh, on, the, on the y axis 90 180 and minus 90 180 now as we know that uh, we can rotate it for throughout the plane and this rotation will be 180 degree of rotation so so I have a mistake to tell that it is 360 degree because uh, uh, 360 degree rotation uh, in both the directions but if you think about the rotation in a particular way then it will it will have the freedom for 180 degree rotation okay so that was a mistake so don't go to that but in this case what we are looking at in this Ramachandran plot is the division from 0 to 180 plus 180 and 0 to minus 180 now what happens in this case 
uh, in this case as we look in, in this upper limit uh, and this four quadrant the position of the amino acid backbone sequences having a particular torsional angle can be projected and after the projection we can look for a standardized uh, uh, distribution for conformational angles and by looking at the standardized distribution we can say whether this kind of conformations will be stable or not or whether and what type of uh, this this torsional angles will be pre will be preferred uh, to make the structure the secondary structure of the protein molecule whether this kind of torsional structure leads to the formation of uh, favorable alpha helices or they lead to the formation of favorable beta sheets by looking at this uh, hydropathy uh, by looking at this ramachandran diagram now in this case what we are uh, it is showing it, it shows the statically allowed phi and psi angles for polyalanin that means if we join alanine amino acids one by one together to make uh, the chain it will be, it will be called polyalanine and was well, and it was calculated using the van der waals distances between uh, between those uh, those chain those uh, co group and nh group between those alanines okay now if we look at here then what we can find here in this picture uh, as we are looking at in this upper uh, quadrant as we can see this part is really really favorable for alpha helical uh, bondings and this part is also favorable and again here we can see uh, this part is favorable for beta sheet as we can look so this is uh, uh, this this type of arrowing di diagrammatic presentation tells us about the the making of beta sheets because beta sheets are most of the time parallel and anti parallel in nature so again in this picture showing the anti parallel this picture showing the parallel beta sheet so the the conformation which you have the positive 90 or a positive uh, uh, 90 to positive 180 degree angle of psi and minus 90 to minus uh, 180 degree angle of uh, phi then it will provide uh, it will provide uh, some types of beta sheet it will be uh, the beta sheet production for those torsional angles are being favored rather than alpha helicin and other things now if we look back to the second quadrant which is present here that means the negative for or the less than negative from 90 degree for psi and uh, minus 90 to minus 80 for phi then you can find this type of torsional angle if if we have a torsional angle production for a peptide chain uh, like this both of the, the minus then it it is a pro probable uh, condition that they will form an alpha helices instead of beta sheets or they have a tendency to form alpha helices rather than the beta sheets but whatever we we can have in this case we 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 can say that this ramachandran plot will help us to know what type of uh, protein structure those uh, peptide bonds are going to be achieved not only that but also uh, are those protein structure being favored or not but in this picture as you can see the distribution of different uh, torsional angles if we see here uh, the position of upper uh, layer and here is the lower and, and this this part of the layer which is also being uh, uh, in, in, uh, placed to produce this alpha uh, helices instead of beta sheets but as we can see these parts are favored this parts are really really favored part to make uh, 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 if, if, if we have a polypeptide backbone for instance and if we measure the torsional angles which which will pro provide which we, which leads to the dot providing this region or this region or this region of the Ramachandran plot that will actually uh, are helping us to know uh, that those structural conformations are really really favorable but if uh, we are having the uh, we are after looking at the torsional angles if you have a dot or if you have a um, point at the level of this zero uh, or the zero diagram from here or or here this part of the ramachandran plot are called the not allowed part or this part of the ramachandran plot is being not favored so if uh, we have a point at this this middle range that means uh, we have a conformational array at this uh, not allowed region or the region at where uh, we do not uh, uh, they, they do not allow the formation of any kind of uh, any kind of bonds any kind of peptide chain okay so these things are really really important so by looking at this torsional angles and putting the values of this torsional angles into this ramachandran plot or ramachandran diagram we can tell that what type of conformation they they start to achieve that they want to and, uh, and try to achieve and they favor uh, to achieve 
and by looking at the structures and we can also say the wha what part is allowed and which part is not allowed as we can see in this pic picture too these parts are allowed and this middle part are the non allowed zone so whatever we can find this middle zone are not favorable confirmation due to the presence of uh, due to the sterical hindrance as we have talked before now one one very important consideration about this point about this state is whatever we are uh, we are looking at because of uh, the uh, because of the rotation around the axis of this phi and psi angle but still we have another bond remember that is called the peptide bond which is really really important bond to hold uh, the amino acid structures together but though they are not playing any role in the rotation so they are restricting the rotation if at all those those uh, peptide bonds have a chance for rotating so if at all those uh, those peptide bonds uh, will uh, become any kind of uh, single uh, bond or uh, single bond appearance that then, then uh, those bonds will be rotated really really qu quickly and all this ramachandran diagram will suddenly being changed because if we can uh, we are able to rotate uh, along this peptide bond that gives this peptide backbone enormous uh, flexibility to rotate I on its uh, itself and due to the constriction around that single bond leads to the blockage of many different conformations of uh, this peptide bond that's a very very important consideration and just remember it for for the whole uh, time of your life okay so that's uh, all about ramachandran plot and i hope that's going to help you thank you